Hello again, Michael Friedberg here from someplace other than beautiful North Carolina. The eagle-eyed among you will have noticed that this is not my usual shaving setup. Today's shave video is going to be a bit different too. The month of June is something called the Lather Games. That's a differently themed shave for every day. Yesterday was a shave for the Maggard Razors meetup. It was all Maggard Razors products. Today is a shave for TryThatSoap.com, which is a site you can use to find soaps that have a particular scent profile or maybe part of a particular manufacturer lineup. It also includes a shave of the day feature that allows you to take products that you've entered in your den and generate from that a shave of the day setup. And so I have used that, that random setup. Today's shave is going to be a combination of Mickey Lee Soapworks Colonia di Agrumi as well as the aftershave is the Barrister Man Fern. So that's the combo that it spit out for me. That's what I'll be using today. I just have a bit of the soap pressed into the bottom half of the Hustlinger Schaffsmilch container. It's actually a nice little travel container. Um, the brush for today is going to be the Omega Midget Bore because it travels very nicely inside an empty La Doiha soap. Uh, this is the other soap stick container. Um, the razor for today is going to be the Rockwell 6S with uh, the Persona 74 blade still in it. This is going to be shave number 24. I have it set on the number 2 base blade for today. Definitely a little bit dehydrated for my skin, so I've got to be a bit careful. I've had a bit of irritation at the very end of my beard line, so I'm going to do just a two-pass easy shave for today and call it quits there. So, and this video also, unfortunately, for those of you who are watching, and you won't realize this until it actually happens, because I'm predicting the future, this will go up a day late. Apologies for that. Okay, I'm just re-soaking the brush a little bit. I'm just kind of wetting it through. And we'll start building a lather from the um, from the sample of the Mickey Lee Soapworks Colonia di Agrumi, for those of you who love when I roll my R's. And apparently that's not all of you. All right, I'm just, just going to be loading the brush. This is going to be a little bit messy because the container is small, but if it gets too messy, I'll just tip it upside down. We'll see if we can kind of contain the, the monster that is the soap. This is one of my favorite scents. This is just a very nice, beautiful kind of uh, clean cologne, citrusy scent um, soap. Aftershave smells fantastic as well, but that was not the combo that was spit out by Try That Soap. So this is what I'm going with, the fur and aftershave from Barrister and Man. All right, I think that looks like plenty for a two-pass shave. I'm going to just wet my face again. Unfortunately, as is in the case in so many places, stopper in the bathroom sink in this wonderful Airbnb, of course, does not work. So normally I would shave with a sink full of water, but not today. Scent strength on the soap is pretty strong. And definitely comes out more as you begin to lather it. Somewhat softer water here, so lather actually builds up pretty quickly and you get a very nice, quick, slick feel to it. But that will still need a touch of water. Very quick and easy. Yep. That slap test is, of course, harder to do with a very small brush, but it does give you an immediate good feel for it. Too thick and pasty or a nice slick, slick lather. Oh, no, that cannot sit there. That is going to go right into the sink. So I've moved it. All right. First pass on number two, just going for a really easy, quick, mild shave. That every shave this month is going to be it's going to be different. Some of the themes are going to be a little bit hard to uh, to meet, but I spent a bit of time going, to going through these products that I have and trying to match the uh, match the spirit of the day as much as I can. There are apparently prizes to be won. Oh, let me just remove that. 
you know, there are apparently prizes to be won, but I'm really doing this in part because it is a well-needed break from from sticking with weekly reviews of products. It's kind of fun to be able to do something different every day, so perfect opportunity. And I will still be doing, as you can see, a Sunday shave, but that Sunday shave will be whatever was the theme for that day in the Lather Games calendar of events. And because of the way that the, uh, the month is laid out, yeah, right there, a little bit, a little bit sensitive, just right on either side of my Adam's apple. Yeah, because of the calendar, it means actually five shapes this month on Sundays. All right, very quick, easy first pass. Let's rinse and get ready for pass number two, and then we're gonna call it quits right there. Just have to see how close and clean a shave I can get with the number two base plate, which really is pretty mild, very, very easy to use. All right, before I start that, I'm gonna wipe off all this water dripping down my arm. Yeah, I really, really like this scent. Aftershave is always a pleasure to use. I was actually using it just in kind of a, a random twist. It's actually the aftershave I picked out for the first part of this week in which I was using the um, Dr. Selby's Lavender Heart Soap, which is a beautiful soap. And I have been lucky enough to get an extra puck or two of that. So I have a nice little stash stuck away. And I really do think you, you could get, I, I mean, they say 400 shaves off that thing. I don't know if that's possible, but man, I am using very little uh, soap per shave, maybe eight to 10 light swirls over the puck, and that was plenty of lather for three passes. Okay, pass number two, mildly across the grain with a little bit of buffing and touch up. Yeah, and this is clearly one of the advantages of having an adjustable razor that gives you a great shave depending on the setting that you're using for the circumstances. Right now, the number two base plate is really all that I want to use. This is just a quick, a quick catch-up shave essentially, and so there's no need for something aggressive. I just want to get a good clean shave. We're going to be in the car for quite some time today. No need to overdo it. All right, now careful and gentle. Try not to aggravate those spots. Yeah, shaping with the Maggard slant yesterday as part of the lineup yesterday, which was the Maggard slant, a Maggard handle, uh, the Maggard 2018 uh, giveaway soap from Oleo Soapworks, which was the excursion, and a aftershave sample of Osage rub that I picked up at the store there as well. So that's a pretty good, pretty good collection of Maggard razor stuff right there. Either their home products or products purchased from them. 
All right, I'm gonna call it quits right there because that was actually really easy, clean. And that's really all I need for today is just a quick two pass shave. All right, let's rinse off and just get some of the soap out of my ear. Some things never change. And then we'll close out the Barrister Man Fern aftershave. Not bad for a quick two pass. And that is the nice thing about the adjustable razor. You can just dial that thing down. Really all I need is just a quick two pass on a very nice, comfortable, mild setting. And that has worked out very nicely. Yep, just gonna keep those two spots right there. Just keep an eye on those. Okay, the Fern. I love really, really cool bottle design. I, mean, I was kind of partial to the square bottles. So I thought that was, a, that was a very nice, distinctive touch. Um, all right, just shake out a bit of this. Who am I kidding? It's more than a bit. Stuff smells great, and I love using it. Actually, not a bad fit at all. I thought there might be a bit of a clash there, but... This sort of rounds out the sharpness of the citrus scent from the Colonia di Agrumi, but still has somewhat of a similar scent. Mmm, not bad at all. Whew. All right, well, let me just rinse my hands, and then I think we are going to call that one quits. We'll do a very, very quick review, because there's really been almost no time since we started. Razor first, a Rockwell 6S. Very, very nice razor. The knurling on the handle is exactly what I'm looking for. The base plate options for making this an adjustable razor do work really well. Today is a great example of that. Great razor, Persona 74 blade going strong. That is shave number 24, if I'm not mistaken. Today's brush, the if I can get the soap off and you can see it, is the Omega, the mini bore. Great travel option, fits inside that shave stick container easy. That will be rinsed and dried, and that will not take that long to dry at all because it's not a big, huge knot that's soaked up all kinds of water. Today's soap was the Mickey Lee Soap Works Colonia di Agrumi. I would show you the soap container, but of course I don't have that with me. Um, but what I do have is the aftershave. I'm not going to decant that for a sample, and there it is, the Barrister Amand's Fern. Very, very nice aftershave. Well, that is it. We're going to close it out right there. Thank you again so much for watching. Apologies for the, for the brevity of this video. It, uh, it is as it should be. And so, just as a reminder, the shaves for the course of June of this year, 2019, are going to be themed based on the latter game. So they will not be the traditional reviews, but I hope you're enjoying these. So thank you once again so much for watching. If you want to leave questions or comments against this video or any previous video, please feel free to do so. I know, again, I've fallen behind in the comments, but not to worry. I do read every one of them, and I do respond to every one of them. That's just you know part of the fun of having the channel. Thank you again so much for watching, and until next time, goodbye.